and just it's a very simple uh, explanation but I, I thought it, it worth mentioning uh, well basically when you have any uh, sort of a structures you have to have some excitation in order to get some results think about the resistor if you want to know the value of the resistor uh, you want to have apply some voltage and then measure the current that's what is going on here you apply some excitation in all these four terminals and then you will measure accordingly so sometimes it will just uh, for example the, the Maxwell will put excitation on the TX coil and read and read from the RX and sometimes you will put the excitation on RX co coil and then read from the TX although in the application you never put any power into the RX but just to get you the symmetric M1, M2, uh, M12 and M21 mutual inductance, inductance it will do the will do something like that that's the same story for HFSS as well uh, so now let's uh, talk less and uh, uh, work more so now I'm gonna go and select the faces by right clicking in the region or just press F and uh, select the faces that I want. So these are the RX faces that I have. And uh, now I'm going to go and select each face, right click, assign, assign uh, excitation, and then select the current. I'm going to select the current and call this one RX1. And the amount of current is going to be 5. Again, I'm not going to. Oh, sorry. So you can have um, the same name as the coil name so rx underline one and then press ok excitation current rx underline two okay oh sorry so when you are doing that uh, you have to make sure oh I already defined some okay so these are uh, from the old simulation shouldn't be here uh, just disregard these uh, values here so rx1 rx2 and uh, look at the, the the I don't know if you can see that but there is a vector here uh, that you can see the arrow so the arrow is going inside the coil it's important to have one arrow going inside and the other coming out so Maxwell can actually find the conductive path uh, or else you can't find it so make sure that if one of them is going in, the other one should go out. And to do that, you just double click on that and then, and then say swept direction. And then it will swap the direction. And so one arrow is out, the other is in. And I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the other terminals. Um, doesn't matter what you're calling it, but uh, TX1. Amp, and I'm gonna swap the arrow uh, just to make sure that one of these arrows has to be the other side. And uh, TX2 5. I'm not gonna swap this one. So if I check this one, one is out, one is in. Okay, so now uh, one thing that I would just want to tell you is when you right click on that and go to the um, assign excitation on a, on a face you might not not find exactly the same excitation options that you see here in this uh, video and the reason is if you don't see for example the current or any other thing you need to go uh, right uh, to the modeler sorry to the Maxwell 3D and then select solution type and make sure that your solution type is magnetostatic this is the solution that we care this is the solution that would work for us to get us the uh, inductance values the transient one is not it's more accurate but it's not going to give you the values uh, that easily you have to go through a lot of hoops but this one is very simple and as I can show you the rest of this simulation it will easily give you the uh, results so that's one important point that you have to uh, remember okay now I'm gonna go and uh, define after I define my excitation I wanna go and right click on the parameters and then I wanna assign a matrix uh oh 
it's not good so okay so I did a mistake and uh, I realized that um, unfortunately the part that I uh, recaptured is not uh, uh, saved um, and unfortunately I don't have it so I have to uh, narrate on this okay, so uh, that part of video that I was trying to figure out the problem um, so basically the problem was that um, the Maxwell needs to know a path a conductive path and because we had the coil and the terminals all in a separate parts uh, it, it couldn't like connect the terminals and the coils to the same path so what you should to do is you have to select the terminals and that's where this term uh, uh, putting the names for each part come in, come in handy um, so basically as you can see I just select and press and control the uh, control key and um, select the two terminals and the coil and then I do, do a unit uh, unite them together and when you unite them together basically it will um, uh, it will act as one coil and everything will work uh, perfectly after that as you can see um, yes I checked that the terminals are fine and now I'm going to go and uh, unite the the terminals with the coil from the light as you said as I said you just select them and then select the unite button then everything will be one uh, in one configuration and the path and everything is fine there so this is our uh, TX that is getting it to unite the first bottom here is unite and then the rest of the stuff here unite there we go so now if I do the validation it will say everything is valid except you don't have a, a setup that's it thanks one more thing is um, the simulation setup is exactly like the previous tutorial you have to go and select, select the matrix uh, in the parameters and then you run the simulation um, I also uh, did all those parts again but it didn't capture um, sorry for that I was trying to go back and recapture everything and that's why alright so the simulation finished and uh, now I can check the results so to, to do that, uh, there, are, there are many ways to look at uh, the result for that. I will show you two ways of that. For that, uh, first, first, first thing that you want to know is you want to know what's the inductance of this coil and what's the uh, mutual inductance between these two. This is the important question that you want to answer. Well, the answer is very simple. You click on results and then you right click on that and then you go on uh, create magnetostatic report. Over there, you choose data table because I don't want to bother you guys with the plot. Just the data, just just the number is enough. When you click on that, you go and you will find a bunch of numbers here. The first thing that you want to know is the coupling coefficients, and uh, that basically is the um, magnetic. Uh, that's basically the number, the K, that defines the uh, magnetic mutual uh, uh, inductance. Uh, the relationship is uh, basically the mutual inductance is k times a square root of l11 times l22 if I remember correctly and uh, um, basically the mutual inductance is k divided by a square root of l11 which is the inductance the self inductance of the first coil uh, times l22 which is the self inductance of the second coil over the square root of course and so this is the co the coefficient coefficient and you can basically the number is between 0 to 1 the perfect coupling has 1 and very bad loosely uh, coupled coil will have a coefficient coupling of uh, 0 so I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, and by the way the RX1 TX2 and TX2 RX1 these two are the same and these two are always one because these are the, co the coupling between the, the self-coupled and K11 basically we can call it and basically these are one and if it's not one that's that's very weird so I want to select one of them uh, just you to be able to see that 
and I'm going to select the other one which is the actual K, the, co the coefficient coupling between the two uh, coil. Uh, go with the new report and while we are there I'm going to add a couple of other things to that. One is I want to go and add the L, the inductance. I want to see what's the inductance of the Rx, what's the inductance of the Tx, and what's the mutual inductance, which these two values are the same, these two. Just click on this, and I want, uh, so here you have uh, the, the Ansoft way of uh, creating or generating the report. The first one says new report. We'll put all these numbers into the new sheet and the second one will replace whatever number you have in your current sheet with these values and the third one which is the best one is adding these values into uh, the numbers you have so basically we'll append it to the numbers that you will see there so I'm going to so add and then close this one so now I have a distance as a parameter here 15 millimeters it will show you that the RX coil has a self coupling of one the K11 is 1, true. The mutual coupling coefficients is 0.19, uh, is 19, 0.19, which is uh, not very good actually. But the distance is 15 millimeters, maybe because of the distance we didn't get a very good uh, coupling. Uh, the self inductance of the RX coil is 990 nanohenry. Uh, which is again not very well. It's 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 a it's a bit low, but um, that's that's what we got. And the self inductance of the TX is 7.3 microhenry. Uh, based off a number of loops, is actually not that uh, off. These are these are I mean of course these are exactly the values. It's very close to the reality, but when you think about the calculation. It gives you the sense as well and the mutual inductance here is 512 nanohenry okay so now one thing you can do uh, because I went if I go back to the matrix um, and if I if I select for example one of these terminals here that I define after I uh, basically define this one um, I'm gonna go to the RX and select uh, one of these terminals I think this is the this is one of the terminals at least you can see the black line here on the terminal so this is the black line that I basically uh, changed the the line with a square um, the cross section so this is the actual line and if you go uh, you can see that the Z value is based on this you remember as in the beginning of the first part of the tutorial I talked about uh, I want to move the RX up for the distance of this and this is the dist. As you can see in all of these terminals definition, I put the word dist uh, for the z value. I didn't say 15, I said distance. Uh, because now when I change the distance between these two coils, all these terminals will move accordingly. Let's see that. Uh, I will go to uh, select the, the Maxwell design and I have just one parameter which is distance which is set to 15. So if I put it on, for example, 20 uh, millimeter, press OK, everything should go up accordingly. You can see that all the terminals went up except, okay, that's not good. <laughs> um, true, this part I have to change. So I can change it for with you so you can see uh, what was the source of the problem. Okay, so let's go and select the uh, the first line here. Uh, so this first line, instead of being connected to there, it's not anymore connected, and the reason is because the first point is 15 instead of being distance. So that's my fault. Sorry. You never get the correct answer all the time at the beginning, the first one. So now this part is fine. You can see that. Oops. Uh, you can see that this part is totally matching. Now we have to fix this part as well. So this this unit here. Um, so this is the RX terminal, and that would be here. 
and again 15 for the z instead of being distance